Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to have a look at the Walking Dead Saint and Sinners gameplay. Trailer dropped today, but after I finish talking, I'm gonna show you some gameplay. Just want to watch it peacefully and enjoy it without me yapping in the background. But before that, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the game. And most importantly, as this is PlayStation VR channel, something regarding the PSVR version. Because I already been asked in my comment section about it by a few people. Listen, the the official info from their website is that the game is currently set for a PC release on Oculus Rift with more news on other headsets coming soon. What does that mean? Well, that means that it's coming to other headsets. Oculus already confirmed that this will be coming to Oculus Quest as well. And if it runs on Quest, it's probably gonna run on PlayStation VR when they're gonna announce it or if they're gonna announce it, I'm not sure. But as I'm saying, it's coming to other headsets so most likely it's gonna come to PSVR, maybe Sony wants to announce it on their channel, just like they did with LA, Noir and Gorn, or maybe there's just a bit of delay with PSVR version, I don't know. But it looks highly likely like it will be coming, but it's nothing confirmed just yet. But anyway, let's speak a bit about this game and what is it, the meaning and the message and all this stuff. So the action in this game, it will be happening three years since the outbreak. It will be happening in New Orleans that it's now flooded and surrounded by a herd of walkers, which makes the escape pretty much impossible. The city is divided into districts and those districts are only accessible by skiff and controlled by the community known as the tower. So with the supplies running out and the tower grip on the city is threatened now because there is a new brutal group called Reclaimed and they pretty much trying to get control of anything. There is a rumor that somewhere in the city is called War Era Bunker and in this bunker it's just shitloads of food and drink and stuff and medicine and weapons so the race is on to whoever finds the bunker first. So that's the story. Now regarding the gameplay everything is in it. You're gonna have crafting, you're gonna have fighting, shooting, slashing, there will be tons of weapons, there will be updates, uh, upgrades, some RPG elements looks like it. So it all looks pretty nice. The combat itself look awesome, when you see the gameplay you're gonna see how pretty nice it is and most importantly the developer saying this will be over 15 hours long, so looks like a full game, but also they saying there will be episodic updates expanding narrative and character arcs. So all sounds good. Now that now you know that, let's hope they're gonna announce PSVR version soon, but now I'm gonna shut up and let you nicely watch the gameplay from the game. Of course, if you like what you've seen, then please press a like because it does help the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed, then subscribe. It's always better when it's more of us.
got nerve rolling in here uninvited. Don't mean to intrude. We don't need strays poking around right now. We have enough problems to deal with. I prefer to think of myself as a free agent, open to all opportunities. You know what? Yeah, you might prove useful. My brother is in some deep shit. Pack of reclaimed scum snatched him. Anthony's a good kid, bit dim, but he doesn't deserve whatever those freaks have in store. We can't get anywhere near where they're holed up. Light blue house across the way. The negotiator. <laughs> oh, big tough Jeff, too chicken shit to show his face and beg for his little brother's life. Not sure I really see the point. Looks like I just walked in on something that's none of my business. I smell bullshit. It's unwise to wonder where you don't belong and you don't strike me as a fool. But hey, I'm willing to play along. We can use some entertainment around here. We are about to execute this filth. Wanna know why? Enlighten me. This subhuman shit is a murderer. I don't care if he was just following orders. My daughter is dead. I believe in choice, so I'm going to offer you one. Exterminate this tower fuck right now, and we won't have a problem. Then, we can pay the rest of the vermin a visit. And once they are a pile of corpses, whatever is in their camp, it's yours. Consider it a gift from the reclaimed. One. Hey, big brother. There's not much to say beyond I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm a wreck, Jeff. I keep seeing that little girl's face. These visions of her turning. This whole mess is fucking with my head. What did the Martins do to deserve being exiled? It makes no sense. They are good people.
Ik ken dat zit bij. 